I think going forward for local public bodies, there's some fairly big challenges coming. There's this perfect storm that is being talked about in 2012, 2013, where the, the sort of impact of the economic circumstances is, is going to flow through to local public bodies. And the, the sort of mix of, of taxation revenues and demand for um, investment in services. But at the same time, this level of investment that's been going in over the past few years, will, there will be need for that, there will be a demand for, for that to continue as best it can. So there is going to be this demand on, on local public bodies for that, making that investment. I think most of the political parties, we have got a new election next year, most political parties are talking about a greater level of decentralisation and um, localisation as part of that. Obviously we don't know what that one might mean, whether it's down to regions or whether it's down to local public bodies. There's also the big push for efficiency savings, whether that's in PFI schemes and PPP schemes or whether it's more generally across the board in terms of cost savings, new ways of working, transforming the way that services are delivered. There's also going to be pressure on discretionary services, those services that local <coughs> authorities, for example, don't have to deliver. And can they afford to continue to deliver those services? You may have seen a couple of authorities, Essex and Barnet, looked at that quite closely and are really looking at how they, or whether they need to provide those services in the future, given the budgetary pressures that are coming. Tim briefly mentioned the total place agenda and this counting and what level of services are provided at a local level and who is responsible for those services and what that might lead to in terms of greater collaboration between those public bodies. <clears throat> I think also, and the NAO has report, um, issued a report in the last uh, week or so about the capability and capacity of local public bodies to deliver uh, transformation or new infrastructure and there is still opportunities for that to be improved. And I think then there is this whole range of new service delivery options that are being talked about, replacement for PFI, um, different forms of PFI going forward, local asset-backed vehicles, new forms of joint ventures. But I think the, the main PFI, we believe, will stay as a core aspect of um, local investment. So how might we try and streamline it? I've sort of split this into three areas, development and approval, procurement, and then the governance arrangements. In terms of the approval mechanisms and business planning process and the, the approvals, whether that's at a local level, whether it's through departments or whether it's through things like PRG or MPRG, um, the local, local Government Association issued a report about 12 months ago lifting the burdens. And they've made certain recommendations in that about how you might try and uh, speed up, make more nimble some of the um, approval processes just to get these projects off the ground. And I think that sort of becomes more important. We do need investment for regeneration purposes, employment purposes. And so the speedier we can get these things through the processes, the approval processes, and, and into procurement, the better. But importantly, it is that certain things do have to be met. And I think it's just trying to simplify and standardise those approval mechanisms, being quite clear what is needed as part of a business planning process, what is needed as part of the decision-making process, what different parts of those, that those decision makers require, whether it's the local authority members, whether it's a central government sponsoring department or project review group. And just to be quite clear, because I think what's been happening over the last few years is many of these things have been added to and new requirements have been added. So we've seen that business cases have become much more bulkier than they perhaps used to be in the past. And are there opportunities to really uh, streamline that, trim that down, to more manageable levels. Obviously that will vary by department, but also from a local authority's point of view, when they are seeking funding for various types of scheme, the better there is in terms of standardisation across departments, the easier that might, might be overall.